Are you a carriage driver too sometimes? Yeah, I'm a carriage driver too. Yeah. I'm yeah. Just helping Jill out because he's a new horse just in case, you know. Right. That's a good job. You know, I was in construction for 30 years before this. You know. This seems like more fun. Yeah, it's a lot better job. <laughs> How long you been doing this? I've been doing it just over two years now. What happened was that COVID came along and it shut this business down. And I was over in Southern California at the time actually, and then I came over here to work in construction. Yeah. And then this was shut down, so one of the drivers, who had been in it for 25 years, uh, got into construction. I met him and I said, well, what have you been doing? And he said, oh, I said, I wouldn't mind a job. He said, get yourself a license and I'll get you a job. Wow, what does it take to get a license to do this? You need a state driver's license, first yeah. of all. Then you do a multiple choice test, like a driver's basic enough 35 out of 50. Yeah. Then you do a small written exam. When you pass that, then you go in front of the vet and she'll ask you about colic and different parts of the horse, basically. So you got to know how to drive a car and you got to know about horses. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shake it out, Scout. They won't entertain you without a license, you know, a driver's license. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're out in the road, you see, I guess. That's why you're the requirement hey. is to have that, you know. Hey, buddy. And then you got to do 80 hours with a, a train driver then. You go out with him then. Okay. Uh, like like doing he, what you're doing today? Yes. Walking with him? Yeah, you go out with a driver until you've done 80 hours and he signs the paperwork. Kind of like a learner's permit? Yeah, yeah, more or less. The license is more like a learner's permit when you get it. You still have to do 80 hours and then yeah. the driver signs you off and then you know. And are you originally from Ireland? Yeah. Basing, based on the accent? Yeah, north of Ireland, yeah. What brought you to America? Um, I just got job opportunities. My brother was here. All my family's here now, you know. So. Mother's here. Do you ever go back to Ireland? Not really. My mother's here. There's nothing really for me to go back to. Yeah. All my family's here. My brothers are here. You know. And are you a full citizen here? I'm just a green card. Green card? What's your name? Matt. Yeah. Right on, Matt. I'm uh, filming people for my YouTube videos. Oh. You okay with me putting you on YouTube? Cool. My YouTube channel is called What Is It About You? What is it about you? Yeah, so that's my question. What is it about you? <laughs> what is it about me? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you've got a pretty interesting story, I would think, coming from Ireland. Were, were you there when, you know... Yeah. yeah. I was, uh, I was born actually in 1970, so I was kind of brought up in the trouble yet in the north of Ireland. But they're all over now, kind of, you know. Fairly peaceful place to go hang out these days, I would think. Yeah, pretty peaceful, yeah. And in certain areas, maybe in the city, Belfast, Derry, and that, you know, might be open, you know. Besides that, yeah. It's uh, pretty safe, you know. But you get trouble anyway, you know. Sure. Have you had any trouble uh, here? Animal rights people are giving us a bit of abuse, maybe, you know. Yeah. The, you know, we went to the stables yesterday. That's where we met Jill. What is it about you? <laughs> it's all Scout. I'm like, there. Have the answer. Jill, is that like a body cam so that you have evidence if anything funky happens on a ride? I've been assaulted by the pedicab drivers. I've had animal rights activists try to swing a punch at me. Um, it's just uh, sometimes, I mean, obviously cars in the street do stupid things. So I don't have it on now, but always when I'm in the streets or entering the park around all those, I've got to have that on. So you were in the 52nd Street stable yesterday, out of you? Yep. Yeah, no, we're trying to get rid of it, you see. So you don't want to get rid of us. And the reason for it, the stable you were on was 52nd. There's another two down on 37, 38 Street. And they're right in the middle of Hudson Yard, you see. Yeah, uh -huh. Yeah, they're the biggest development in the United States. Maybe still a little bit more. They don't have the baby stroller. Maybe still a little bit more. They don't have the baby stroller. Maybe still a little bit more. They don't have the baby stroller. Maybe still a little bit more. They don't have the baby stroller. Maybe still a little bit more. They don't have the baby stroller. Maybe still a little bit more. They don't have the baby stroller. Maybe still a little bit more. They don't have the baby stroller. Maybe still a little bit more. They don't have the baby stroller. Maybe still a little bit more. They don't have the baby stroller. Maybe still a little bit more. They don't have the baby stroller. Maybe still a little bit more. They don't have the baby stroller. Maybe still a little bit more. They so they pretend to care about the yeah, horses. It's a big gimmick, you yeah. Because the people that New York class are backed by the real estate people. You know? Yeah. When it comes to money, you know. He's definitely a one because he's in all that stuff. He's like one of the very first members that he has. He's like a big. He's got a lot of money. Pretty boy. No. That's what he did yesterday. That was when the, the first ride that he had opportunity for. He didn't know the whole routine. And the moment I touched the line, he just stepped up on here and oh, walked God. over here instantly. So it wasn't that bad, except that he pulled three tires off. So we spent the whole time that they're supposed to be on a ride putting the tires back on. And the customer said, you know what, forget it, and just left. Oh, no. And so that was not a good start. But it was no, no major accident or anything, but it was just kind of like, oh, you know. So, yeah. 
Yep. What was that story again about him coming up on the curb and taking the tires he off? He was the one that put the tires on. He was helping me yesterday and sent him out. I've heard this oh, story yeah. before. <laughs> it's like people from my hometown. I was looking forward to talking to them, and they, they decided the amount of time and We got involved. two of them on. They could have just waited for one more. Uh, yeah. Oopsies. That's crazy that the tire, like, they just fell off. Oh, yeah, there's well, just they, rubber bands. When, when, yeah, it's That's just rubber. Are. It's not like there's, like, okay. air. Okay. It's water around there. Not the, not like, the it wheel. was actually, okay, just the rubber part. Yeah. Ah. So it's not that big of a deal. It happens all the time when you hit certain potholes and stuff. And we use a tire and get it back yeah, on. Yeah. But it's not convenient when you're on a ride. You don't want to start moving like that. Yeah. You know? Got it.